take over and start running the type runner. Is this a parallel or a serial? Okay, there's two types, parallel and serial. What does parallel and serial mean? It, it really determines how the machine receives its information. Okay? Now, parallel says that I've got so many letters, so many wires all coming over at the same time, and this, these wires make up the character that I'm trying to, to present. Like I might put a zero, one, some combination in here, one, 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 zero. Does it have eight wires? Yes, <coughs> 256 characters. That's right, eight data lines, and one called a stroke, which is a ninth one. It says, I've got all of them set, bang, do it now. So basically, parallel has eight, minimum to, to deliver the data, has eight uh, wires going here. At the same time, a ninth wire that says, everything's set, do it. And then it takes whatever's on here, and the machine interprets that, that code as the character to be printed. Okay? <coughs> That's the parallel. That's the parallel. Now, here's the serial. The serial says, hey, uh, I only have one wire coming to you. Now, I've got other wires too, but they're for control. They aren't the one that can carry the information of telling them what the character is set. This, there's other character, there's other character, uh, in a parallel there's more leads than just these two, the, the nine leads. There's control characters on it too. It, how fast you print, things like that. Those are the other, that require the other leads. But this is how, how many leads it takes to define the data or the character to be typed, okay? That's that. Now on a serial, it only takes one lead and one return, power lead. This one also takes a ground also to carry with that, so I would say it's a one lead. So how does one lead represent a character? That's to have eight different time slots. Impulses of yes. Yes. information coming across. So the slot, the time period at which these come across represents a character. So once I see a beginning and I count so many time slots, like right here maybe a time slot, then this could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that could be my character. I can actually say this was on, so my bit would be one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero. Four, five, six, seven. And that may be enough over here to say another zero. And that's my character. The same way this one would have done the other way around. So <laughs> it's got a little box. The little box has two different ways that I could feed it. One parallel and one serial. Now, a lot of them came around and said, we don't know what you're going to do. We're going to pull, but make two interfaces so you can do either one. Okay. Yeah, well, they so, wanted to market it, and they, some people didn't. See, if you don't, what happens if you own a computer that only has a parallel interface, and they want to sell you a, a printer, and theirs is only serial, then you can't buy their printer, right? What if there was only serial, and you had a, the other thing, and then the same thing happens. So what do they do? They say, hey, I want to be in the market. Half of them are going to be one way, half are going to be the other. I might as well build something that does both. So what do they do? They built something that did both. Do you think there's an advantage to the one? Yes, there is. Absolutely an advantage, disadvantage. There's an advantage and a disadvantage. The advantage is, depends on another piece. The advantage really depends on this. Uh, do you want to buy the extra piece of uh, hardware? Because chances are you're going to want to run a motor, won't you? Kind of make computer somewhere else. That's what the motor is. Only. Serial. All motors are serial? Yes. Yeah. Basically, all motors are serial. It's got to put the data out in a serial mode. I, I, there's always going to be somebody that will invent a parallel and then convert it to serial and build you an extra box. So uh, I can't say that all of them are going to be because I can make one that's not. So, But you'll find out that. that Currently, if you go out and find out 99% of everything in the marketplace, all your modems are going to be serial. That means that what if you wanted to use the same port for your printer as you do your modem? When you aren't using the modem, you want to use the printer. What if you, if you aren't using the printer, you might want to use the modem. So what does that mean you have to have? You have to have a serial port. Okay? It costs more to have a parallel port and a serial. If you wanted one or the other and you chose parallel, then you still have to have a serial for the other one. 